welcome back to my film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I'm going to Amazon Prime today for something that, uh, as is the case sometimes with some of these big series on Amazon, I've not been able to binge watch it. I've sort of watched it week by week. And by the end of it, I was getting that disinterested. I, I forgot for a couple of weeks that the final episode had been on. So I'm recording this now, probably two or three weeks after the final episode aired. But we're going to have a look at, anyway, we're going to look at something, a science fiction drama. We're going to have something called The Power. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It's great to have you on board. Everything film and TV, drama series, reviews, information, vlogs, lots of different things. If you are pushing buttons, you can push that little like button. Be very grateful. I will be very grateful for that. Try and get me to 10, guys. Have a look. Keep, see what the count is. And push me up to that 10. I'll be more than happy. Yes, The Power, a science fiction drama series developed by Rail Tucker, Naomi Alderman, Claire Wilson and Sarah Quintrell for Amazon Prime Video. As we said, it's based on Alderman's 2016 novel, The Power, and the first season consisted of, consisted of nine episodes and premiered on the 31st of March 2023. And of course, uh, Mobs was released uh, weekly after that, each Friday until the finale on the 12th of May. So I'm recording this. All right, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, I'm recording this on the 26th of May 2023. So a couple of weeks after it actually finished. So my apologies. Rotten Tomatoes audience, they quite like it 79%. That's good. Internet movie database. Joe Public, 5,800 5, reviews and scores, approximately. Internet Movie Database, 6.3 out of 10, so they like it as well. That's, that bodes well. And what's it about? Well, the world of power is our world, apparently, uh, but for one twist of nature. Suddenly, without warning, all teenage girls in the world develop the power to electrocute people at will. It could it could it get much worse? It's hereditary. It's inbuilt. It can't be taken away from them. Coming alive to the thrill of pure power, the ability to hurt or even kill by releasing electrical jolts from their fingertips. They rapidly learn they can awaken the power in older women. Soon enough, nearly every woman in the world can do it, and then everything is different. Yeah, very scary. And this stars Tony Collette as the main role. Raoli Cravillo, John Leguzuma, Tohib Jimo, Ria Zimotric, Halle Bush and Nico Hiraga. Yes, so some new names, some new faces to me. Uh, the public like it. What about the critics? Yeah, the critics like it as well. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes got a rating of 76%, positivity rating based on 45 critics, an average rating of 7.9 out of 10. Not everyone's for it, but we've got some for it. Camilla Long from The Times said it's kind of like a new handmade tale, uh, but with a bigger focus on small home appliances. It's great. Pat Stacey, the Irish Independent, said just when it seems about to surge, it splutters instead. Nicole Vassily of The Independent in the UK said with a punchy script from an all-female writer's room and the characters who both inspire and feel accessible, the story is as timely as it has ever been. And Andrew Han, Hollywood reporter, said there is a thrum of potential in there somewhere, but it might need some more time for those wielding it to figure out how to harness it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit more with Angie on this one. The consensus of the website, the power is too ill-defined to do justice to its mighty potential, but the core idea is intriguing enough to give it a charge. There's nothing wrong with the idea. That's, it's just the execution, uh, or electrocution, if you like. Better critic, the other critic site we'll look at, has given this a score of 66 out of 100. So again, very good, 19 critics. Now, I'm I'm in the minority on this. Uh, I was a bit disappointed at its moments. I'm just, if it was if it was Rotten Tomatoes, I would have to go rotten on this. If it was Metacritic, I'd have to say, uh, I'd say mixed, mixed on Metacritic. i say with Rotten Tomatoes, you've only got two choices, but I would go for rotten. I'd go mixed on Metacritic. An internet movie database, score out of 10. I'll give it a five. Um, that's all I'm going to give this. It's got a case of some good stuff. It's got some good ideas. It's quite an intriguing scenario, plots, etc. But it all feels a little too dragged out at times. Uh, and I was certainly in danger. Uh, if, if I'd binge watched it, I might have struggled to binge watch it. I might have sort of put it to one side for a day or two and then gone back to it. But uh, 
every week. I, I, I was I was losing interest, and as I said, it took me a couple of weeks to watch the last episode because I forgot all about it because that's how interested I was in by the time the last episode came along, nine weeks later. I mean, only one or two of the characters really appeal from early on. There's some interesting characters introduced, and then they sort of disappear or not really in it that much without being expanded upon, which was disappointing. But they, they, on the basis of that, they did throw too many sort of little little characters in. Uh, I think if you just had two or three to concentrate on, it would have been better. There's all the little subplots and stuff. So I never really got involved or felt in the, involved in the story as it, as it swapped from subplot to subplot. Uh, there's nothing ever really, even even the main protagonist uh, that we talked about there, of course, Tony Collette is the main player in this. Uh, there's nothing in, uh, I like Tony Collette, but again, it just, just never really grabbed me in any way whatsoever to want to go back and keep watching it and watching it and, well, this is good, I can't wait for the next episode. I don't think I ever, ever felt that throughout it. Nine episodes for me. It's just far too long, just far too long. I mean, it might have made a half-decent two-hour film. I'm not too sure, but certainly nine episodes was really dragged out. And by the end of it, I wasn't on the edge of my seat thinking, oh, yeah, I can't wait for season two. Whether there is or not, who knows, but uh, we'll see. But uh, it didn't really work for me, this one. It's just uh, not not quite a good idea, good premise, nothing wrong with it. Well, well unless you like being executed all the time by these females. But... Uh, yeah, I can see the point. I remember an old, is it, uh, the two Ronnie's sketch where obviously women were in control of the world. And it has a scenario of that, but <laughs> I'd probably go back and watch that again rather than this, in fairness. I can't remember what, what it was called now, but uh, you might do out there if you're as old as me. Anyway, a bit disappointed. Just five out of ten. Let me know what you think, guys. Did you invest in it over the nine weeks and did you enjoy it? As I said, I am in the minority. A lot, a lot more people enjoyed it more than I did. I just, uh, I was just thought it was a bit certainly not what I expected and a little disappointing. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, last one thing, don't please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.